All right now, Mr. Monster, is there anything that you have to say to Dr. Frankenstein? I'm sorry, what did you say? Why did you never hug me? I didn't hug you because you smelled so bad. And if you take a bath every once in a while, then I'd hug you. Because you made me out of raw flesh. What else was I going to make you out of? I didn't have flowers laying around. Could have made me out of rainbows. Oh, rainbows. There he goes again, being such a he wild baby. He always does this. He says yelling at me, making excuses. Oh, oh, so I father. should not yell at you because you're a dumb monster. I'm not dumb. Maybe if you had put some time or hug me or something, it'd be a real dad. How dangerous is the acquirement of knowledge? And how much happier is the man who thinks his own town to be his whole world than the man who aspires to be greater than his nature will allow? You swear to be harmless, but have you not already shown a degree of malice that should reasonably make me distrust you? I can't go around just loving everything I create. Well, why not just leave it? Oh, be gone. There can be no community between you and me. We are enemies. You are my creator, but I am your master. Burn! Devil, cease! And do not poison this air with these words of malice. I just don't know what to do anymore. Ah, oh, do not despair. To be friendless is indeed to be unfortunate. But the hearts of men, when unprejudiced by any obvious self-interest, are full of brotherly love and charity. All men hate the wretched. How then must I be hated, who am miserable beyond all living things? Yet you, my creator, detest and spurn me, thy creature to whom thou art bound by ties only dissoluble by the annihilation of one of us. You killed my family. I saw those I loved spin vain sorrow upon the graves of William and Justine. Cursed be the day, abhorred devil, by which you first saw the light. Was there no injustice in this? Am I to be thought the only criminal when all humankind sinned against me? Cursed, cursed creator, why did I live? Why, in that instant, did you not extinguish the spark of existence which you had so wantonly bestowed? Come on, then that I may extinguish the spark that I so negligently bestowed. I do, I do know that for the sympathy of one living being, I would make peace with all. I have love in me for the likes of which you can scarcely imagine, and rage the likes of which you would not believe. If I cannot satisfy the one, I will indulge the other. No one can conceive the anguish of which I have suffered. Abhorred monster, fiend that thou art, the tortures of hell are too mild a vengeance for thy crimes. Why can't you just go off and live your life? I am alone and, and miserable. Man will not associate with me. But one is deformed and horrible as myself would not deny herself to me. My companion must be one of the same species and have the same defects. This being you must create. You know, son, you're right. I will create it for you. Give your daddy a hug. Go quietly. You know these people? They're crazy. I mean, I should have been a dentist or something. They're, they're just out of their minds. I, I, I really just don't know how much more of this I can take.
hardcore. I don't know what it's like to, to give someone pain or hurt people. I'm, my real name's Madeline Elizabeth, and, and I love puppies and ballerinas. This is because Rebecca sucks. <laughs> You guys, you guys want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do what? <laughs> oh, hold on. <laughs> Whee! But the sound effects really <laughs> <laughs> Good choice.